throughout time, people across the world told each other tales of how they came to be, of heroes and monsters, romance and tragedy, death and rebirth. Mythology helped shape the ancient world, explaining the unexplainable. This is Mythology Unleashed. Long ago in India, there were once six blind men who stood by the roadside every day and begged from the people who passed. They had often heard of elephants, but they had never seen one, for being blind, how could they? It so happened one morning that an elephant was driven down the road where they stood. When they were told that the great beast was before them, they asked the owner to let him stop so that they might see him. Of course, they could not actually see him with their eyes, but they thought that by touching him, they could learn just what kind of animal he was. The first man happened to put his hand on the elephant's side and liken the creature to a wall. The second man felt only the elephant's tusk, and to him, he was nothing at all like a wall, more like a spear than anything else. The third man happened to take hold of the elephant's trunk and was instantly afraid, for he thought it was a type of snake. The fourth man reached out his arms and grasped one of the elephant's legs. And it was very plain to him that an elephant is round and tall, like a pillar. The fifth man managed to feel one of the elephant's ears and claimed that the blindest man ought to know that the beast is not like any of the things that his compatriots had named, for he is exactly like a huge fan. The sixth and final man was very blind indeed, and it was some time before he could find the elephant at all. But at last he seized the animal's tail and believed his friends to be a lot of foolish fellows who had surely lost their senses. An elephant was not like a wall or a spear, a snake or a pillar, and neither was he like a fan. But any man with a particle of sense can see that he is exactly like a rope. The blind men, each believing that they were correct and the others were all incorrect, began to quarrel with one another. Accusing each other of dishonesty, they eventually came to blows, drawing a large crowd and frightening off the elephant. The fight was broken off by an onlooker, who described to them just what the elephant looked like from their various perspectives. An elephant is a large animal, the largest land animal on the planet, whose body is quite expansive like a wall who has tusks that come to a spear point, a prehensile trunk of a nose that moves like a snake, pillar-like legs, fan-like ears, and a rope-like tail. In essence, they were all correct, while also being incorrect at the same time. The parable of the blind man and the elephant has been used to illustrate a range of ontological truths and fallacies. That one subjective experience can be true, but that such experience is inherently limited by its failure to account for other truths or a totality of truth. It is a simple story that discusses the inexpressible nature of truth, the need for deeper understanding, and respect for different perspectives on the same subject of observation. Humans have a rather harsh tendency to claim absolute truth based on a relatively limited subjective experience, and ignore or dismiss the limited and subjective experiences of others, which may equally be true. Be kind. You're not always right. But neither are you always wrong.